Hi guys, in this video I want to show you for the first time ever an affordable EVF that has all the pro features of the much much more expensive uh, kind of big budget professional EVFs. So what I've got here with me today is the latest EVF from Portkeys. This is the LI model and I'm gonna show you guys all the features and kind of compare it to the, the other EVF from Portkeys, which is the uh, OI, uh, and kind of show you the differences. But the biggest one I'll tell you right away is the price. This one is only $399. So if you compare that to even the other EVF from Portkeys, which is $899 or like the typical price, which is around $1,500 to $2,000, 399 is nothing and an EVF for those of you who don't know is uh, I think a critical tool for any serious image maker filmmaker uh, videographer if you want to be able to see exactly how you're composing the shots the color composition and even just making sure you have the, the sharpness the, the the focus in there nailed spot on uh, you definitely want to have a, a proper EVF to work with so as far as the operation goes very similar to uh, all the other EVFs that I've showed you guys before uh, on my website here. Uh, it's, you know, you can mount it obviously many different ways as quarter 20 attachments on the bottom. Uh, and there's three of them actually, so you can put a rail or something like that. Uh, and actually has a, a rail built into it. So if you have already a rail system, you can, you can mount it straight with that. Uh, what's cool also is, like I said, is it's even though it's a budget EVF, it really doesn't skimp out on the features. But what I do love about it is that it's actually really small and very light, comparing it again to all the other EVFs out there. So as you can see, I have it mounted on my Zikim E2F6 rig, and it fits perfectly because this rig, and again, because the camera itself is small, I'm trying to keep this kind of rig as small and light as possible, yet being able to still have all the pro kind of features and tools that, that I'm used to having on my bigger camera rigs. So EVF is definitely one of them, and uh, and again, it's something that I would recommend that you look into. Uh, I have it mounted on my small rig here, uh, rail, so that allows me to move it basically up and down, left and right. Uh, it's just attached uh, to my handle here, uh, which has a 50 millimeter rail, and then this whole thing attaches to 50 millimeter rail. And then also that allows me then to kind of, again, move it and articulate this whole thing any way that I want. Um, and then once I have to kind of more or less the position and the height that I like, then I can easily still adjust the angle of this. So that's the cool thing about this, this setup. But that is something that you're going to obviously have to get extra. And that, again, that's because any EVF that you buy these days is not going to come with any of those things. Because that's part of, I would say, more of the rig that you're going to be uh, outfitting your camera with. Uh, but you want to definitely make sure then that you have a nice arm or something to attach it to. Um, this uh, EVF itself, because it is so small and so light, means that you can use some of the other more simpler, like this This arm is really overkill. You can use some of these simpler, uh, you know, more kind of, I would say, less sturdy setups that's still going to be safe because, again, this EVF is very light. Uh, now, if, if, as far as using it, again, you're going to use it very simple. What I do like is that they give you this little thing uh, that's Velcro, this little iPad. Um, so it's nice and comfortable in your eye and then the cover itself as you can see it kind of comes out here and you have a little velcro on the bottom that you can attach and yeah you can look through it uh, has nice adjustment here for your basically your uh, eye focus so you make sure that you know different people with different eyesights can always get the right focus and yeah it's just very well built and I think it fits beautifully on my ZKM rig let me take it off though and kind of just show you guys the EVF by itself So I have it mounted on this kind of a quick release uh, arm, uh, which is from Lempart. You can actually a few different manufacturers make these. So uh, I'll provide a link for this in the description as well as the, the uh, here EVF arm and all that stuff that I'm using. So here's the EVF by itself. Like I said, you have this little thing here. It's like a little sponge. And there's actually two of them that, that you get when you order this uh, and you get this EVF. Uh, and they're basically just Velcro. So you can take this off. And as you can see, it's simple Velcro, and then you can put it back on like this. And then this little eye cover, which you want to make sure you have this on whenever you're not using the EVF. And that's with any EVF, because you have basically essentially a lens there that could focus, like let's say if you got 
the sun shining through there will actually focus the light and it could damage the, the screen there on the back. Uh, and then up here they give you a little Velcro here on the bottom uh, so that again you can easily uh, attach it, attach this, kind of keep it out of the way when you don't need it and then when you want it you put it back in. You'll notice they have this cool little thing, this adapter adjustment for your, your eyes. Uh, which is made out of wood. It's actually very nice looking. It just feels very good, and I, and I like the look of it. Like I said, honestly, like I said, I like the look of it, the feel, and it's smooth. Like I said, you can get the focus exactly how you you know you need it for your eyes, but then it's also firm, meaning like once you leave it, it will not move around loosely and things like that. Uh, so that that's really good. Uh, here on the top, you have your four uh, quick buttons that you can program them to be whatever you want. In my case, I have it one setup for uh, zooming in so I can nail the focus. Uh, I have a false color. I also have a histogram and uh, a waveform. So it actually has a Luma waveform. I will show you in detail the, the exposure that you're getting. Uh, and then here on the left side, you have your menu button, the navigations up and down, and then you have your exit. So that's basically for just navigating through the, again, the menu uh, and adjusting all your settings here within the EVF or programming one of these buttons. And that's pretty much it. Here on the back, you just have your power on off button. And then on the left side here, you'll have your, uh, you have your HDMI in. So you, this does work with HDMI, it does not have SDI. Uh, and then you have your DC connection, which accepts uh, anywhere from seven to 24 volts. And the whole thing is solidly built, uh, yet it's fairly light. So that's what I like about it. And as you can see, it's not really that big. Again, you know, the screen itself, it's pretty small and thin, like the module, and then you just have this eyepiece that sticks out. So it's definitely much smaller when you compare it to the other EVF from, um, from Port Keys, uh, which is this one. This is the OI, this is the LI model. So the OI is bigger and a lot heavier, and the reason is because it has a lot more features. That's also why it costs more than two times the cost of this one. Uh, but when I say features, it mainly just when it comes to design of it. So you have a HDMI in and out, so you can loop the signal, and you also have a SDI, so that's another cool thing about this thing. But that's really pretty much where the differences, the big differences between these two uh, end. Like I said, otherwise, when it comes to functionality, this EVF forgives you uh, all of the functionality that the, the, the other model gives you, and that's some of the other really expensive EVFs on the market, uh, whether it's from Zakudo or some of the other companies that I've like, reviewed in, in the past, uh, again, that they offer. So it has, like I said, all the monitoring f features, like I mentioned. I use uh, false color, I use histogram, I use the waveform, all those things. So for monitoring it, you have different aspect ratios and decrease ratios for uh, different anamorphic modes. You have different frame guides, even like the new frame guides for vertical video and things like that. If you're one of those people shooting, for example, for IGTV and things like that. Yeah, like I said, it provides all of those features. So software-wise, it can do everything that the big boys can. Now, one thing maybe that is slightly less, but again, it's not something that you're gonna notice, it's just the resolution. The resolution of the screen, while it's a really nice screen, 300 nits, uh, 1000 to one you know, contrast ratio, so you can really see the colors and, and, and make sure you're nailing the focus. The resolution is basically 1440 by 900 pixels. So it's not 1080p like some of the other uh, EVFs out there. But again, it's such a small difference. And at that size, you're really not gonna, again, you're not gonna notice that difference. It's more important, I would say, uh, at that size is making sure that the screen itself can reproduce nice colors, has nice contrast ratio, and it's you know bright enough, which again, this, this uh, LCD in there definitely can do those things. Now, like I said, when you order this, you're gonna get uh, another I have the eyepiece here. Uh, your protector, uh, so you're getting that, uh, getting the EVF itself, and then you're actually getting another cable for powering it. So they do give you a DC to uh, DTAP connection, so you can connect this to your standard, uh, again, DTAP powers, accessories, like some of these little batteries that I, I personally love using, and I reviewed in one of my previous videos uh, with my ZKM E2 rig. So uh, these are really cool batteries because in a very small and light form factor, they, they pack a lot of power, a lot of juice in there. Uh, but they also, even though the size is so small, but it is a, a V-mount battery, uh, they still give you all the features of the big battery. So you have actually two uh, DTAP connections here. So you have one on, on the left and right side. But another thing they give you is you actually have two USB 
uh, here connections on the top. Definitely if you're looking to power like a smaller camera, but if, uh, you know, if you wanna have all the pro battery features, uh, definitely look into getting these batteries. Again, the links are in the description. Uh, and the same thing with this thing. If you guys are looking again for an EVF for your camera, let's say you, you're working right now with a mirrorless camera, but, but you still wanna have a nice pro setup, uh, and uh, at the same time, you don't want to spend money on something that might basically become obsolete later on down the line, uh, then definitely get yourself this EVF because, like I said, it has all the pro features. Really the only pro feature that maybe is missing in this one uh, versus some of the other higher-end EVFs is the lack of the SDI connection. Uh, but then again, with most cameras these days, uh, you're going to have HDMI, so, so it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, and, and because of that, like I said, it also it will work great with uh, the kind of lower budget DSLR kind of cameras uh, or, or like the pocket, you know, cameras from Blackmagic or, or Zcam or things like that, which again, with something like this, it's going to help allow you to kind of build a nice professional rig with those uh, more affordable cinema cameras. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why I got this. So. Uh, I guess that quality is really good. Unfortunately, I can't show you the quality because you really have to just look at it through here, but you can really trust me. Like I said, the quality is spot on. Haven't had any, any problems. And also, you know, it's port keys. I've used their monitors over the years, the previous EVF and things like that. So they've never failed me. And not, not only that, but they always update their products. So I'm sure they're gonna be releasing further uh, for more updates. Uh, like I said, here on the bottom, you have the three a quarter 20 attachments if you're wondering and then you have that rail the nato rail so that's also nice because it will allow you to attach it to any of the nato rail accessories directly um, yeah just an overall really nice evf and it's very affordable <laughs> again comparing it to some of the other evf so uh, if you guys are in the market for one then take a look at it and uh, if you're gonna buy one i would greatly appreciate if you use the affiliate links in the description of this video it helps me out doesn't cost you guys anything extra uh, and, uh, and aside from that, if you want more information on this, or if you want to see, for example, some of the other EVFs that I've reviewed before, then check out my website at tomantosfilms.com. Uh, over there you can go and you can, you know, like I said, find out about all the different gear that I've reviewed, plus filmmaking gear reviews, uh, filmmaking tutorials and things like that of all sorts. Anyways, that's tomantosfilms.com. My name is Tom and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.